I've already snapped on people in, in people's booths because I thought they were being extremely unreasonable. Listen, the guy says 50 bucks, okay, I can't do it. You want to come in here and ruin the guy's day because you're a fucking cheap asshole? So why we're out here is that every year there's an international gem show in Tucson, Arizona that people come from all over the world. 1955 was actually the first year that the Gem and Mineral Society did a gem show out here. It was actually in a public school and it grew into this, which is now millions of people from all over the world coming out here to buy their gems and their minerals. Yeah, I, over the, you know, the, the, the 15 years of being in the business, I, I know a lot of people and I become friendly with people and this is a really great opportunity for me to you know, come in and, and see people and say what's up and I like to walk the show, see what's new, what's going on, what people are buying, what people are interested in. Because this is really the last, like, last hurrah, it's going to end soon. You're going to see people with like closeouts, blowouts, what's left is, you know, the, the lowest grade material and usually people are looking to make deals on that, you don't, they don't want to ship it back so that's why you see a lot of people here now you know, the, the vultures come in at the end. No offense. So uh, where I am right now is uh, this, is Elka. I don't know if you remember, last year we did a video here with Elka. Uh, Elka helps me to move things in and out of Madagascar. You need somebody now on the backside because customs over there is ridiculous. They rip everything apart. Um, and uh, I've known Elka for a, a dog's age. She is uh, a great friend and uh, she consolidates everything for me on the back end and we, we scratch each other's back and she's an amazing human being so she usually has good stuff out here. How long have you been doing uh, the gem shows? I've been doing the gem show over 20, 20 years. Yeah. And, and, and have you noticed that the gem shows have been decreasing in in quality, quality in service, everything. And everything. Yeah, it's yeah. just kind of going slowly going downhill. Slow down, and then prices are going high. Right. So the the, this, the, this vent, the the people who throw the shows want to raise the price exactly. of the booths and the tents. Yes. I mean, like even like a tent like this costs you like what, like thirty grand. Thirty grand. Plus your living expenses could go up the to hotel. ten grand. Yes. Between car, flight, flight hotel, hotel everything. everything. You're talking about ten grand. Yes. So just just to set up shop here for yes. the couple, three, four weeks, well, it costs forty. My my expenses here in Tucson is like 80, 80 grand. So and that doesn't even include material cost. No, no, no. This is a material cost is something different. So you know, essentially, if you're a dealer like Elka coming from Madagascar, mm -hmm. you have to make like three hundred to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in the show for it to even be worth it. My, my my customers, which is good, and this is still the reason why I come here is also to to um, to to meet my my customers that have been with me like for uh, since the beginning. Yeah. And this is very nice. And first thing they ask me how I'm doing. You know, and second, they, 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 they do their own thing and they buy, but we talk first and we become friends. And this is the, the good part of this uh, coming to Tucson for me. But those people, and tell me if I'm wrong, are people who are also, who care about the business. Yes, they do. Those customers. They do care. I love you. Thank you, love you too. Take we'll see you later. There's endless amounts of shows. There's endless amounts of dealers. People are coming out here with the hope uh, and with the promise from the people holding the venues that they're gonna make it big which is not the case at all. Booths out here cost 15 grand up. Living expenses during this time are so high. You know, it could cost you between, you know, all your travel and living out here for the, the duration. If you're a dealer and you're out here for a month, you know, it could cost you 25 grand. How long have you been coming and doing gem shows? I've been coming to Tucson 28 years. 28 years? 28 years. Have you noticed the cost of the gem shows and the expenses of being here are just going through the roof? Too much. It, it makes it almost impossible for you to come to make, here to make money. And, and to make money doing That's this. True. And then you have people coming in and are like, how much is this, sir? Oh, and you say, this is $2. They say, I will give you 50 cents. Yes. It, it's the, right. They do that all the time. So how do you handle that? Well, you know, you know the thing is, uh, is a market. If you're in a market, you meet all kind of people. You just have to be calm and talk to them nicely with stigma, with wisdom, you know, to make them understand, no, this cannot be here for 50 cents. Two dollars is my price. Okay. 
If you have one piece of advice you can give somebody, mm -hmm. one piece of advice, what is it? Okay. In life, not in life, in life, to be kind, have a patience, and to know whatever God gives to you, no one can take that from you, and to be obedient to the Most High, to know anything you have is a blessing from Him. So he's the one give that life, he's the one take that life. He's the one feed you. Whatever meant for you, no one can take that from you. Sweet. So now, thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate okay. you. Nice God to bless. meet you. Thank, thank you. you. Like the people who are who are here who are trying to do the right thing, who who are who are actually good good human beings who try to be honest. It's like you wind up getting taken advantage by the scumbags. Mama, give me give me a call when you come to New York. I will, I will meet up with you, okay? I will do. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. See you later. Thank, Thank you. You. And you don't have to edit any of this out. You can just play it right to the audience okay. as it is. Okay. I am not the crystal Bible, so to speak, right? As far as energy and stamina, the ruby, burgundy garnet, the red jasper. But the red jasper, it's being reddish, crystal here, let's put the crystal on the root chakra because it's red like the, like the jasper. That's if you're into the metaphysical. If you're into the metaphysical, so to speak, right? But normally, if you are into the metaphysical, so to speak, you will place the stone in a room and let the therapeutic vibrations spread through the room. These are all Moroccan dealers who are you know, coming over here, pretty much the worst material uh, is going to be here in these kinds of booths. Uh, I, we can't really film over here much because people are going to stab us. Uh, I'm, and I'm serious. Uh, but you never know what you're going to find. It's fun to walk it and just see what people got. You see this stuff right here? This is all dyed. So it looks really cool and it looks super nice, but it's all dyed material. Hi, sir. How, how much? Those, those bracelets are quite cheap, um, but they're all synthetic, they're all fake, they're all made with fishing wire. So one of the things I've been telling you, I, my bracelets are $3, those are $1, but they're synthetic and they only have one piece of wire in them. Um, and that's what everyone's selling here. And, and actually, not, not just that, they're, they're, they're saying that they're real crystal. Uh, so it's something that you really want to be careful of because people are very quick to say whatever they think you want to hear to sell you the item. All right. Where's our thing, Max? If you want it for your collection, I would grab it. What is this? That's that's pretty. You guys are coming from Morocco, right? Yes, I'm originally from Morocco. In Morocco, there is endless amounts of people trying to sell minerals, right? Yes. And and so and so with that being said, how how do you find a way to continue to do decent business and survive when you have everyone in Morocco trying to sell minerals. It's very hard to make a good collection in Morocco, yeah. to buy a good. Because there's uh, so many people trying to. Yeah, so many people, because anyone he needs to, to, to have a good stuff. Then we work all the years to yeah. make, uh, to bring this stuff. We travel all in Morocco, we travel to the north, we travel to the south, we travel to east, west, to make a good, min good collection. Well, one of the reasons I've chose to work, to work with you whenever I get a chance is because mm -hmm. I know that you and, and mom do things very, yes. very clean. Yes. You know, you're good people. You, you're not Thank taking you. any shortcuts. You're not trying, you're not working with stolen material. Yeah. You know, everything you guys do is honest and fair. No, I'm, I'm, ser I'm, I'm serious. What, 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 do, what, do, what, do you, what do you want for the whole, if I take your whole booth? Yeah. I'm going to say he's going to say 100. Uh, I wouldn't go more than... 65. 85. 85 is a little cheaper than I thought. We were th we we were thinking 50,000. Why don't you wait till the end of the show? Yes. Before like the last 2 days or like late in the weekend and, and let me know what you want before you before you close up. Okay? Give you some time to make some more money. Yes. So is that kind of these are all stalag these are all stalactites or stalagmites, right? Yeah. Uh, so very luckily, uh, I mean, I had I, we we're finding stalactites here, and I actually needed stalactites for my museum, 
uh, that I'm opening. I mean, typically what happens with these is that there's abandoned caves um, and then the pieces essentially break or fall off because people walk through, they touch the rocks and then eventually you, you, you know, you kill the stalactites or the stalagmites by touching them and then they wind up, you know, falling off or broken. So that's really what I'm looking for. I'm trying to make sure that they weren't removed and that they were actually broken to verify that they came out of the cave the right way. Because you know how people handle rocks. Well, they were from those kind of caves. Uh, yeah, but do you exactly know what... Exactly which one? I do not know. Do you know what region, what province, what state? Oh. <laughs> okay, give me one. Give me two. This two? Yeah, one, two. Um, I kind of like this one, Max. I like this one right here. I like this one right here. But I think that one of the things that I've seen a lot in this industry is the lack of respect for where the industry came from, for the, for, for the people that started here and, and built this industry. And even when I walk the gem shows and you see guys who have been doing it since the 60s and 70s, they're usually put in a dark corner somewhere and, and are you know just the crazy old person when in eventuality they've been running the gamut for 30 years. They know stuff that, those are the people that I want to talk to. I want to talk to the guy who's been here from the start, you know how have things changed, why have things changed. Ramon, how are you? I'm okay. And you are from Colombia? Yes, I, okay. I come to Tucson every year. The first time I came to Tucson is 1983. What have you seen is different from when you first started to now? Yeah, it changed. Every time is different. In the 19, uh, in 2008, 2010 was tough, but slow. It's slow, yeah. It's still the business. These business are so beautiful, and the people around this business is very great, very beautiful. Just to set up a little booth like this and come out here, plane, hotel, everything. What does it wind up costing you? General number, like General, for the booth and everything. Uh, with the helper, it could be ten, twelve thousand, including the booth. Including the booth, yeah. Oh, so about, this is, about saving money. Last question for you. One piece of advice you have, not about business, about life. One piece of advice. First, find themselves, and then when you find yourself, you find everything else. Boom. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> Chris, what's the one piece of advice you would give someone right now? One is uh, from the office, which is where Michael Scott tells Dwight, don't be an idiot. Uh, that is one of the best piece of, pieces of advice uh, you're gonna get your hands on for so many reasons. But in, in, a more, in a more serious aspect, in a more serious respect, I would say be honest. Don't compromise your integrity.